This and the following three videos show steps in the artificial insemination of bees. Artificial insemination is done to control the genetics, particularly to reduce the presence of aggressive Africanized bees. These aggressive bees sometimes attack with little provocation and are a danger to both farm workers and the general public. The drones and queens here are known to be free of aggressive traits. This video shows the collection of drones. During warm sunny days, the drones leave the hive and an excluder with wires too close together to let the drones back in is placed over the entrance. The drones congregate here and Bill can pick them up as they try to re-enter and place them in a drone cage. There's a drone. Come on, come on. Many drones are needed to fertilize just one queen. After collection, the drone cage is placed back in the hive until needed for semen. Yeah. Got a couple more articles. Uh, I, I don't have them in my truck, though. Oh, okay. A drone's whole purpose in life is to service the queen. To obtain the semen, Bill grasps the head and thorax of the drone and rolls the thorax until a pair of horn-like carnua emerge. Their yellow-orange color show a sexually mature drone. With further stimulation, the drone ejaculates his semen and Bill sucks it up into the syringe. That's the semen on the tip of the drone's narrow rect endophallus. Semen from several drones is needed to fertilize one queen. This is the hive where Bill keeps his queens in queen cages. He is going to select three queens that appear healthy for insemination. So I've got three extra queens. Yeah, I'm just getting the queen bees out of here. In cages. Takes this frame out so we can more. examine each queen cage well. and select three healthy queens for insemination. So I just need these cages in here to hold the place. She's a nice queen bee. We'll take her and put her in a new home. Here's another one. That's a nice queen. We need three of them. This one, this one hasn't emerged. Maybe she will. This is a real nice queen. We'll take her. Bill likes to double check on the status of his queen. Queens I've got here. That... Okay. 
Bill will place the Virgin Queen in the tube so her abdomen sticks out. He will flow carbon dioxide up the tube to put her out. Then, after she is sufficiently subdued, he will grab a stinger with the forceps and together with the hook, expose her vaginal orifice. That's the syringe with the semen on the left, the forceps coming down top center, and the hook coming up from the lower right. Bill starts as soon as the queen is subdued enough to begin to minimize the time the queen is subjected to the gas. Bill grasps the stinger with the forceps and together with the hook exposes her vaginal orifice. He uses the tip of the syringe to bypass the valve fold and injects the semen directly into the median oviduct. There it's done. Bill removes the now fully unconscious B and marks her for identification. He will place her in a bee cage containing a bit of honey to recover. Then if she seems healthy, Next day, he places her in her future hive, but still in her cage. She will also get another CO2 treatment. This promotes egg production. If, after a few days, it appears the hive has accepted her, he will release her from her cave to become the hive's new queen.